The new year is approaching soon and it's a great time to start thinking about your 2025 goals. What if there's an easy way to plan and set your goals for the new year? In this video, I wanted to show you how to build your very own goal planner using X-Tiles. X-Tiles is a great alternative to Notion if you're looking for something easy and intuitive and it's especially great for personal planning. If you find this video useful, be sure to like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Let's first start by opening up X-Tiles and in this case, I highly recommend you to use the desktop app just so that everything is smooth. And then you can go to plus new project and we can go to start from scratch. And once we're here, we can first start by designing the overall look of this page. So let's go ahead and go to the change cover to get a cover photo. In this case, we're going to go with something beige to match some of the X styles colors, but you're more than welcome to choose your own style here. And once we have it selected, we can also reposition it a bit, save position. And then the next thing that I'm going to do is to remove the icon. So I'm going to click here and then click remove. Again, this is completely optional depending on how you'd like your goal planner to look like. And I'm going to title this goal planner 2025. So this goal planner is meant to be used throughout this year. So you do need to create a new goal planner or duplicate the old one when you are moving to the next year. But for now, we're just going to focus on 2025. And the first thing we're going to be doing is to design the first page, which is going to be the vision board. So we're going to go ahead and click here and go to this renaming and call this vision board. And let's go ahead and also change the color. So we're going to go with this one. And vision boards are so useful with goal planning, just so that you have this visual thing that can keep reminding you all the time whenever you refer to your goal planner. So this is a really important part of the goal planning process. So let's go ahead and first start by adding your yearly theme mission values. And also another fun touch is to add a letter to yourself that you can open when you feel like it's the right time, usually at the end of the year to see how you're doing and also to see your growth. So let's go ahead and start adding some boxes here. So with X styles, all you have to do is click and drag to create different boxes. So we're just going to go ahead and create a box and we're going to entitle this one theme and you can add your own theme for the year. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and put new directions. So I want this year to be full of new directions, new ideas, change, and all of these kinds of different things that are going to make this upcoming year better than ever. So let's go ahead and click this style icon here. And we're going to go ahead and go with this style and then change the color. And then after this, we're going to go ahead and click the three dots here and duplicate. And we can move this over here. So this drag and drop is very useful in X styles. Next, we're going to put the mission. So let's go ahead and say that the mission for this year is to be kind to others and myself. So I really want to practice kindness this year. So this is a really good mission to have. Next, let's go ahead and click the three dots here to duplicate this box. And we're going to go ahead and drag it under. And we're going to name this one values and inside here, you can think about what kinds of values do you want to place importance on throughout the year in 2025. So we can go ahead and click enter and here, for example, connection, creativity and kindness. So these are the three values that I really want to focus on this upcoming year, but feel free to write what makes sense for you. And then finally under here, we're going to create another box by duplicating and drag it under. And this is a fun part where you can design a letter to myself. And in this one, you can basically add a letter inside of here by typing slash. And then we're going to add a nested note. And this nested note is going to pop up like this. So you can do dear future me. And inside here, you can type out a letter to your future self a year from now. You can talk about your current situation, how you hope to be in a year from now and all of these things. And this is just a really fun exercise to try out. And it's going to be really exciting when you get that notification to open your letter. 
So in order to get that notification, under here, you're going to want to do slash and then a task. And the task is going to be to open your goal planner letter. And you can actually schedule this also. So let's say that you want to open this in the end of December 2025. And you can even add a reminder like this and then set that date. So this is really exciting because you're actually going to get that reminder to open that letter. And by that time, you might have even forgotten about this letter. So let's go ahead and kind of hide this up. So now comes the fun part where you can start designing your vision board. And here you can start just making random boxes and then clicking image. And then especially easy is just to use Unsplash to add images. So let's say that a mountain is a really good image for vision boards so that you think of new directions, you climb up and you're trying your best in order to improve. So mountains can be a great thing to add. So we're going to go ahead and add that mountain. Next, we can add some more boxes for images and click image and add some more. So we can do something like change. So there's a lot you can do with adding images. So feel free to start filling all of these spaces in like so. And each of these can be an image. And all you'd have to do is click image on each one to fill them in. So now that we basically have a vision board, what we can do next is to focus on life areas. To do that, we can click the plus sign here. And then we're going to add another creative blank page. And this one's going to be called life areas. And in the life areas, you basically want to sort of plan out your different life areas and what kind of tasks and goals you have for each one. So to do this, we're just going to start creating some boxes. So let's go ahead and create some boxes. And for this one, we're going to color this in the same color here, but we're going to add this version. And let's say that this one's going to be for relationships and we can change the color to something gray so it looks a little nicer and then in each one we're going to have that nested note so we're going to use nested note and this is going to be for planning and reflection so here you can plan out each of your life areas and think about how you want to improve on them and then at the end you can also reflect on them as well now we can open this page up just check your planning and reflection and inside here, we're going to add some tasks. So we're going to type slash and then add tasks. So you can basically add some tasks here, like make time for friends once a week. And then you can even add the deadline for this goal. So let's say that if that's at the very end of the year, you want to mark this as done, you would put end of the year. But basically, these are just all things you want to set as your goal for this year. And you can type control or command D to add more duplicated task so let's go ahead and empty this out so that we can copy this one so now we can go ahead and click the three dots here and duplicate and we can do Control command d to duplicate more and basically we can fill this whole page like this and we can add different headings for each life area so this can be finances this one can be spirituality and this one could be career and again, this is all based on what you would like to focus on for your needs. So your life areas might be different from these. And once you're done, you can go ahead and fill in your tasks as well, or even start the planning and reflection process. So what I recommend is to do the planning and reflection first, and then go ahead and add the tasks relating to those. After you're done with your life areas, the next thing we're going to be adding is a monthly reflection and planning page. So we're going to go ahead and click the plus sign here. And let's go ahead and add a gallery for this one and blank gallery. So for this, each of the cards are going to represent each of the months. So here we're going to type monthly reflection and planning. And we can go ahead and click one of these open. And this one is going to be January 2025. We can go ahead and delete this property. And we can delete this property. And let's actually add a checkbox here. And we'll rename this one complete and we can delete the inside here so now we have january 2025 and inside here what we're going to be doing is kind of adding a basic template inside that you can duplicate so inside of january 2025 what we're going to add first is heading two 
a mood photo and we're going to add an image and for example this one's going to be for january so we could add something like this and then make this one smaller and then we're going to add heading two and this is going to be which life areas do you plan to work on this month and then you can add your answer in here and then what you can do is add another heading two and here we can put some more information like how did everything go for your reflection part once you're done with that you can click out and you'll notice that the image appears here what we also want to do is make sure to click that gear icon and then go to properties and we can show the complete so when january is complete you can click this complete button and we can go ahead and delete these rest of the cards and now what we can do is just duplicate these until we have 12 of them for each month of the year and then for each one we can go ahead and rename this so this one would be february 2025 and this one would be march 2025 and one thing you can do is to replace each of the mood photos as well so if this is march you could choose something like this and it's going to show up here so make sure to change the name change the photo by going in and then clicking this icon here and then looking for a photo that fits your mood for that month and if you download the template all of this is pre-filled already so it does save some time in that sense now what we can do is click the three dots here and then we can go ahead and change the color to be the same color like this and for the life areas we can actually change this to gray so it looks kind of nicer like this and we basically have the goal planner so all you have to do is fill each of these sections in with the images fill in the planning and reflection for each life area add your tasks and then finally throughout the month you can go through each of the cards and plan out each month and think about which life areas you want to focus on and whenever you kind of lose your focus or want to remind yourself you can always go back to the vision board and then finally at the end of the year you can open up the letter to myself to see how you've grown and what kind of person you were a year ago i hope that this tutorial was useful if you're interested in x -Tiles, who is the sponsor of today's video be sure to check the links in the description for the free goal planning template let me know if you have any questions or comments and hope to see you all in the next video